Hola, eh, bienvenidos al Tao Garden, donde estamos con el maestro taoísta Mantak Chia. Eh, el maestro Mantak Chia es el creador del Universal Healing Tao. Él ha estado toda su vida estudiando el taoísmo, además de, de otra serie de, de conocimientos como budismo, yoga, artes marciales, zen, etc. Y todo ese conocimiento que, que adquirió a lo largo de su vida eh, lo utilizó para sistematizarlo y crear eh, este sistema, el Universal Healing Tao, que es un sistema de prácticas eh, taoístas completo, con diferentes niveles, diferentes desde las prácticas más básicas hasta prácticas más avanzadas. Y bueno, todo este trabajo eh, le ha hecho, aparte de ser uno de los líderes espirituales en el mundo más reconocidos, ha hecho que, que, que sea la única persona en el mundo que ha sido dos veces nombrada Maestro Qigong del año por el Congreso Internacional de, de Qigong y Medicina Tradicional China en el año 90 y en el año 2002. Y bueno, es el creador de, del Tao Garden, que es este sitio en el que estamos ahora, que es un, un resort en el norte de Tailandia, un sitio muy especial en el cual tanto el Maestro Chia como sus instructores senior forman a, a personas. El Maestro Chia ha formado a decenas de miles de personas a lo largo de todos estos años y aquí en el Tao Garden, que, que ha sido diseñado y creado por él, es donde la gente de todo el mundo viene a formarse, además de hacer tratamientos en una clínica, la, Pacua, la clínica Pacua, donde la gente viene a cuidar su salud. Uh, so, Master Chia, thank you very much for, for being here for this interview. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, in, in nowadays world, where there is a lot of... Uh, This, this information society where everything goes faster and faster, where also there is, there is, we have all these technological advances, but there is also pollution, water pollution, air pollution. What do you think is the most important thing for us to take care of our health? In the Tao said, uh, when we uh, learn the Tao, we have to start it to learn how to be turned inwardly and calm down. So when we learn how to calm, relax, and we can start it to aware how much energy uh, affecting us, okay? Yes, the technology is very fast, but the inside, the heartbeat, and the circulation, everything is still the same. So either you make it so fast to spin, and uh, it's affecting us, or either we're coming down and we can see and handle things in a much calmer way and you have more energy. Otherwise, we, when we, the heart beats so far, the mind running too fast, we drain all the life force. Okay. In, in the Tao and in the traditional Chinese medicine, there is this concept of Qi. So, um, <coughs> what is the Qi and, and why is it so important? Uh, for us? In the Qi, in the olden time, uh, the Tao, they beginning many thousand years ago. And they don't have very scientific uh, measure or prove it. But they know that <clears throat> there are life force within us, inside, and life force in the universe. So now the West also come up a very close thing this is by testing, by machine, and we call a uh, bioelectromagnetic power. We call energy. And everybody talk about energy. I have no energy, I exhaust it. And that is energy. And the Tao means energy, Qi. But Qi actually is the beginning of something. Okay? So that's why we say, okay, a simple Qi we call low grade of energy. Is you eat the food, you're breathing in, and it combustion and turn to be one energy. So the Tao said, this is the basic energy, and you have to, when you learn how to cultivate and upgrade the energy, you are making a higher grade of energy. So, that, so that's why when we are using the gasoline in the car, they divide a lower grade, premium grade, very high premium grade of energy. The same thing like the food we eat also, this is good, high premium 
food that gives you more energy. So in a Tao way, it's the same. That how you can uh, refine the energy into a higher level, so we divide level by level of Qi, level by level of energy. Okay, um, one of the specificities of, of your system, of the Universal Healing Tao, I think is that you, you give a lot of attention to Tantian. Uh, could you explain us what is the Tantian and why is it so important for us to, to work on it? The Tao, in the beginning, and now the West also discover, and more discover exactly the same thing that Tantian. Okay, so the Tao said, first cell, father, mother cell come in, and it stick, and, it, and it, actually this one, when it go to the uterus, it stick. And it started to split, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16, 16, 32, go on, double and double and double and triple. Okay, so in a Tao set, and they, they're coming down and stick in the uterus, okay? And the one that they stick there, it become the placenta. And from the placenta coming down to where the group of cells, and that is we call the, the navel, okay? And the navel, and it grow, it grow, it grow. So the Tao discovered that this one, it grow from the navel, and it grow, go to the back and lower part. And this is, we say, it, this is the beginning of everything grow. So it grow from the tan, navel, tan tian, or we call the abdominal area. It grow up, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. It's, but the source is there, the original. And the Tao said when we come to this world, we inherit a force from the universe. And this force of universe is stored there. Is right in the behind the Tantian. And it's still there, okay? And it's still there, but the that area they discover also later on, it's just like a refinery, just like a transforming, a storage energy, keeping energy. So it's so many things happen there. So now we know that okay, this area in the Dantian area is a um, center of the digestion center of the absorption and center of the elimination. So, how important that? This is very important because where you put, you take in the energy, where you get the, the energy in, digest it, absorb it, and distribute to the whole body. It starts from here. So you have small intestines, uh, stomach, it's all in here. And now they discover that all. The, the, last year only, they said, oh, the fastest, the best way to get anti-aging is cultivate your intestine, digestion, itself and elimination. It cultivate them, work on it. Mm. Yeah. Well, in fact, you have been studying <coughs> the Tao and uh, Taoist practices and Chinese traditional medicine. You have been studying them for all your life, but also you are very well known because you like to complement that with uh, scientific research and, and see how the scientists are proving with the scientific method how these Taoist uh, practices really are, are, are useful. In fact, one of the things that has now they have started calling this the second brain, right? Which is yes. uh, the yeah. second brain they call it for a hundred years. And now they, they call this one is the real brain. It's called a mercenary. Control is a controller. It's the commander of all the digestion, absorption, elimination. And that's why the Tao talk about this one control everything. Control all the digestion, absorption. Yeah. Okay, and uh, in fact in the workshop that we will have in Madrid this year in, in May, that uh, we are very um, we are very happy that uh, we will be able to have you for the second time in, in Madrid. One of the practices that you are going to teach there is uh, Tan Tien Chi Kung and, and Tai Chi Chi Kung. Uh, tai Chi Chi Kung is, is better known in Europe and in the West for, for several years. But Tan Tien Chi Kung is, is not so well known. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you could tell us a little bit more about this practice. So the Tan Tien we talked about the earliest, that is uh, the beginning of our life. And the beginning of energy that 
we receive and is stored there. So that's why the Tan Tian Qi Gong is designed so simple, very powerful, effective to activate all this digestion absorption. And the Tao always refer them as a kidney fire and the lower Tan Tian fire. Because, so the Tao said, when you have the fire in the kidney, or we call the lumbar two and lumbar three, you have a digestion fire. And we develop the lower Tan Tian fire, we call an absorption fire, and the elimination fire. So that is the, the form, the whole form, you actually, the West now they know that this is core center. Mm -hmm. It's a core center. But there, they say, okay, you have a strengthening, that is a physical part. But in the Tao, we work on the physical, energetic, and the whole series of practice we call Tan Tian Qi Gong. And you develop the front Tan Tian, side Tan Tian, left and right, and back Tan Tian and uh, below, we call the perineum, so this is very important. Okay, so then we are really looking forward in Madrid to, to be able to learn these practices as, as you explained that the Tantian is so important. Uh, another of the, of the Tao practices that you will uh, teach in Madrid is a healing love, which is one of the, of the practices that, that, that you wrote several books about. Uh, can you maybe explain us a bit why this healing love or these uh, sexual practices are, are mm. so important, not only for our pleasure, but for, for health cultivation. Yeah, the, the Tao actually go back to 4,800 years, when the Yarrow Emperor write all the classic of the Chinese medicine and the sex manual. That is 4,800 years or 900 years now. So the, the first chapter that they're talking about, sexual energy, uh, when you combine with love and arousal orgasm, and that's what we, we know it. We always say, hey, they make love, oh, they make love, you know. And we know that make love. What is make love? Okay, make love is when people fall in love, and later on they like each other so much, it activates the sexual energy. So love and sexual energy combine, and creating energy. So in the in the Tao say, oh, this is very powerful. And from that 4,800 years, they already know that this is energy can be healed. So that we call healing love, okay? Love that can heal. Now, the whole key, now the West also discovered that, oh, when you feel arousal, orgasm, love and compassion, combined together, it creating a very, very powerful energy. And the way they explain is that when it combined love, arousal, orgasm, love, compassion, it combined, boom, we call love vibration. And this vibration, it trigger our hormone system and it make a DNA split. That's what they talk about. But they don't know that it's that healing. But now if you think about then they split in a proper way, and now you have a better cell in the better DNA and better cell in the in the organs or in your body. You're healthier, and a lot of time the DNA split in a very sad, depressed way, and the energy and the cell is very bad energy, and the whole it's just like a very so our organs like big 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 big, big country. Big, 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 big company. There's so many billion and billion, billion work together. When you have billion, billion people work together, now this energy, when they have a good energy, they work better. So the Tao said when we born, that means our father fall in love and the mother fall in love. That usually should be the usual case, okay? When they fall in love, they make love now. When they make love, they're creating uh, energy. And the sperm and egg come together, boom. This energy draw more forces down. And it depending on how much energy we receive from the mother, and it phew, a lot of energy down. So that's why uh, our love making 
and feel arousal, orgasm, love, compassion is the best healing power. So the Tao always refer them into a, the best of the best medicine a human can have. So they use this love making and position as a healing. And now the couple, you come together and they feel so much energetic, not joining each other, and emotional also started to balance. Well, it, it will be indeed very interesting to, to learn all these Taoist practices for, for specifically using our sexual energy for healing purposes or even spiritual purposes. Um, can you maybe tell us a little bit about, uh, because in, in the Tao you also have this concept of, of yin and yang, can you tell us maybe a little bit of within this healing uh, love and sexual energy, what is it more specific for, for women and what is it more specific for men? Um, the whole key in the Tao, we divided the woman like yin and the man like yang. Now when you talk about the sexual organ, man is the peanut election and, and, and go to Pentu, so we call the yang aspect. Woman is receiving, so the vagina and everything, so that's why. So now we can, we can know that the breast, the breast, the vagina, uh, the uterus, the ovary, the clitoris, the so all this very important part of the sexual organ is involved with producing energy and involved with producing egg and an offspring. Okay? And the man is the testicle, the penis, the prostaglandin. So it's all in what we're producing the sperm and the seminal fluid in the prostaglandin. So all these things is different kind of practice that they need to understand how to transform the energy. Yeah. So that's why the yin yang and the practice are different. And finally, when they understand the energy, and that's in what we, we call a balancing energy. Harmony, balancing, and loving energy. Okay, thank you very much. So that will be yeah, another of the practices that, that we will be able to learn from you in Madrid, together with uh, Tan Tien Chi Kung, mm -hmm. Tai Chi Chi Kung, Iron Shirt yes. Chi Kung. So, uh, yeah, we are li really looking forward to have you again in Madrid, because last year people was really happy with the workshop and, and that's why you are coming again, because people were really, really happy that they were asking you to please come yes. again to Spain. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for having an interview with you in this wonderful setup, which is the Tao Garden, your creation. Mm -hmm. Y bueno, pues eh, ha sido un placer poder charlar un rato con el maestro Chia, como decíamos aquí en, en su casa, en la casa que él creó, el Tao Garden. Y bueno, pues eh, seguiremos hablando con él en, en mayo de este año en, en Madrid. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank Chia. you. See you in Madrid. Hasta la vista. <laughs>